In the name of Allah, God, the most gracious, the most merciful. And you, people of understanding, through the implementation of legal equal retribution, will ensure the survival of your society, that you may attain piety. Surah al-Baqarah, the longest chapter of the Quran, offers a profound and comprehensive guide to the moral, legal, and spiritual aspects of human life. Verse 179 specifically addresses the concept of legal equal retribution, a theme that carries significant weight in Islamic jurisprudence and ethical discourse. This verse is a testament to the divine wisdom embedded in the Quranic injunctions, aimed at fostering a just and harmonious society. Legal equal retribution is the principle of proportional justice, and it is imperative not to be negligent in its implementation. It mandates that the punishment for a crime should correspond to the gravity of the offense committed. This concept is not merely punitive, but carries a deeper, more profound purpose, the preservation of life and the deterrence of wrongdoing. The verse specifically addresses people of understanding, highlighting the importance of intellect and discernment in the implementation of justice. It is a call to those who possess wisdom and insight to recognize the broader implications of legal equal retribution. It is through their understanding that society can appreciate the protective and preventive nature of this divine law. By ensuring that justice is served and that the sanctity of life is upheld, legal equal retribution serves as a cornerstone for the survival and stability of society. The assurance of justice acts as a deterrent to potential offenders, thus maintaining social order and security. It creates a framework where individuals are aware of the consequences of their actions, leading to a more conscientious and law-abiding community. The ultimate objective of implementing legal equal retribution, as the verse concludes, is to acquire piety. Piety in Islam is the consciousness of Allah, a state where one's actions are aligned with divine will and moral integrity. Legal equal retribution, therefore, is not an end in itself, but a means to a higher spiritual goal. It nurtures a sense of accountability and righteousness, guiding individuals to lead lives that are pleasing to Allah. This verse encapsulates the essence of divine wisdom, where justice is intertwined with mercy and societal welfare. It reflects the balance that Islamic law seeks to achieve, a balance that safeguards human dignity, ensures justice, and promotes spiritual growth. By adhering to these principles, humans are invited to partake in the divine order, where laws are not just rules to be followed, but are pathways to achieving a higher state of moral and spiritual existence. Surah al-Baqarah, chapter 2, verse 179, is a profound reminder of the importance of justice in the preservation of society and the cultivation of piety. It calls upon the wise and discerning to uphold these principles, ensuring that justice is not only served but also seen as a means to achieve greater spiritual and moral heights. In embracing these divine injunctions, humanity is guided towards a harmonious and righteous existence, reflecting the ultimate purpose of divine guidance. This is a testament that the Holy Quran addresses all aspects of life, 